got a Patreon. You need to check out the Patreon. Extra videos, extra ASMR, extra content. I'm writing a story. I post excerpts on there, full excerpts of my story on my Patreon. Short excerpts on my YouTube community tab so you can get a sample on the community tab. Then if you like the sample, you can get the full excerpt on the, on the Patreon. I also post my music on there. I'm doing a song a day challenge. A song a day until the end of the year. It's a lot of work. But we're doing it on day, today's 130, yesterday was day 129. Um, so you get early access to the songs on the Patreon, early access. And then every Friday I drop seven songs, seven songs every Friday. Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, all that good stuff. So look in the description for the Patreon and link in the description for the music. <sighs> How you doing? You good? Outside. We're outside, we're outside. I just finished reading my Bible. Um, I think I'm going to switch up the format because, you know, we're going through the book of Samuel. I thought it'd be better if I read and just give you a summary than me reading through the whole thing because that can... You know, it can get boring for some of y'all at least. Uh, so basically, I just read uh, Samuel, Samuel chapter 10. Long and short of it is this this homie. You, you have to watch the previous videos to to understand what what's going on. But basically, there's this guy Saul. There's a prophet Samuel, and there's a guy Saul. And Saul is about to be be made king over the the Israelites because the Israelites want a king. They re, they rejected God as their king. That like, we want a human king. So give us that. So God's like, all right, all right, bet, I right, bet, I'll give you a king. He's gonna, he's gonna fucking oppress you. But that's what y'all want. So that's your own problem. So so uh, he gets told like, yo, you're gonna run into some prophets. You're gonna be walking. You're gonna be going home, right? While you're going home, you're gonna run. Procession, procession, a procession of prophets. That's what they call them. They call them a procession. Procession of prophets. And when you meet them, you're going to be filled with the Holy Spirit and you're going to start prophesying and then. You're going to be a different person. You're going to change. Something's going to come over you. And you're just going to become different. And I was thinking about that. Like in real life, I feel like it's very possible to change and become different. Maybe not through supernatural spiritual means, but I, I think it's very possible for people to to undergo particular circumstances that just change them fundamentally and they become a, basically an entirely different person, just in terms of their mindset the world view just so much of them can change in an instant and you can change for the better too because they say people never change they say like people never change I don't think that's true then people can change I think it's possible some people never change but I think that's a choice they make but anyway um, so he, he does that he has that experience he becomes a different person and then it's um it's time for him to be anointed king and everyone's waiting and they're like where's the king where's this guy he says gonna be our king and like 
everyone's looking for him and they, they find him hiding behind some bags or something, which is hilarious. He didn't, I guess he just didn't want to be king. It's too much of a responsibility. It is a scary job to rule people. You know, it's a lot of pressure. Um, and he was chosen. He didn't choose it himself. He was chosen. He was just like, you king, go. Um, so, you know. thumbnail material right here ha smile um uh i'm very awkward okay okay we can do this we can do this just need my face smile smile ah, wait did something just fall on my nose you know what that's 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 me. Things be falling on my nose, my lips be chapped sometimes. Okay, okay, let's try again, let's try again. Wait, I'll just wait for my face to light up. It's trash ass camera. It's good, right? Okay. I'm gonna try and smile. Don't <laughs> Well Why is this why, why is this a thing? Why why not just, just why not just smile at the camera? Okay, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> is this my smile? No. Listen, listen. I, I'm not. I. Ah. Let's 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 forget about it. Pressure to be king, so he didn't want that. So he was like, Ah, I'm not doing this. I'm gonna hide like a whole ass nigga. He hid and they found him. He was like, You're gonna be king, like, or not. These people look crazy, bro. <laughs> uh, and they made him king, they're annoying to him. And some people were salty and they didn't bring him gifts. And they're like, Why is this guy king? Like, people really did not expect him to be king. There was even a saying in his town, which was, is Saul, because they saw him prophesying with the prophets, and they're like, is Saul really a prophet? Because the idea of this guy, I guess they had a very low idea of him. They did, like, they had very little expectation of him. So the idea that this guy is amongst other prophets prophesying was hilarious to them, that it be literally became a saying in his town. Is Saul really one of the prophets? just shocked and then for him to be king on top of that they were like nah, nah. but the moral from that story is god will use anyone bro like and in life never think I, I, i've that, i said this in the previous video but we can reinforce that never judge a book by its cover and never think that you are too small to take on a great task like you know you're capable of way more than you think and the sky's the limit so ooh. thumbnail ooh. i'm trying to switch up my thumbnails make them more enticing anyway that's the end of the video Thanks for watching. Let me pray for you. You know I like to pray at the end of all my videos.
So just accept these prayers, accept these blessings, accept these blessings as positive affirmations, words of peace. Okay. Dear God, I thank you for this individual. I thank you for blessing them and making them whole, making them unique. And I thank you that you're guiding them on a path of light and love. And that you're showing them new things and you're showing them new people that care about them. That have their best interests at heart. And... <laughs> Someone just came in. And um, yeah, just, just generally take care of them. I thank you that you're blessing them with good health, long life, and then happiness, happiness of the heart and mind. A happiness that's not performative, but genuine. Like they're genuinely happy. They wake up in the morning happy, smiling, with things to look forward to, people to look forward to. So I thank you that you're blessing them, you're blessing their friends, you're blessing everyone they care about. Uh, healing and prosperity and peace over them, over their life, over their loved ones. In my name I pray, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Behave, behave, behave. Have a have a good day. Have a good week. Have all that stuff, and uh, don't get into trouble. Okay. <laughs>